It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, darling, because that is how I keep up with you, Virgo, is through the comments. Also, uh, if you do find any cards that resonate with you and you enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I'd really appreciate it, Virgo, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Virgo. But remember to use your intuition, darling, because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Virgo. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here today, Virgo, just to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, Virgo, not mine and not these tarot cards. Uh, so with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly horoscope reading today. So starting out your energy with how you're feeling, where you guys are currently at, Virgo, is the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Water. This is a beautiful card to be starting with because with this, well, let me just read off this card, darling. This says, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, and a new home. So, Virgo, some of you guys are definitely in this place of trans- Little interruption as well, I am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since for hitting 10,000. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, I'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me, uh, own their own personal reading, whether it's live or recorded. So all the information will be down below it's a quick simple process of joining my new discord and it'll be pretty self-explanatory but yeah let's get back into your reconditioning i do feel like with this ace of cups here this ace of water this is showing to me that you guys are moving on from something and opening up to new opportunity whether this is with a person darling or whether this is with a situation of where you're just investing your energy into it does feel like you're re relocating your focus and it feels really good to you and i know it feels really good to you virgo because with this Ace of Cups, this Ace of Water, this is like a card where it's like, uh, it's almost like this beautiful response or this beautiful relationship with the universe and the energy around you with, in correlation with your heart chakra. Uh, so I mean, what I mean by this is like, it's at this perfect timing of where you guys are where both energies are linking up where it's like you're opening up a lot more just because more good things are happening and naturally just like it's like a snowball effect but in a beautiful way um so definitely this is a week of where it's looking like you're going to be receiving a lot of blessings in some shape or form so let's get some more information on this virgo shall we we have the Nine of Cups coming in here. This is directly going towards fulfillment. This is part of the reason why you're opening up more, uh, Virgo, is because it feels like whatever is happening... Oops, as I hit my camera, darling. Let me reposition you, honey. Um, as this Ace of Water, this Ace of Cups energy continues flowing into your life this week, uh, it's showing to me in the sense of a lot more fulfillment. Like, you feel a lot more accomplished in the things that you're doing. Um, very much so it's almost like something that you took a bet on right where you took a risk because when you think about it uh, uh virgo when you think about like some of y'all may not know this but with the eight of cups the eight of cups is you leaving a current situation that was fine but you wanted to go for bigger and better right go into bigger and better waters to on your journey to your ten of cups right so the nine of cups I take this kind of as like the journey from that you going from that eight of cups to the nine of cups where it's like you took a bat, bet and being like, oh, I'll go to bigger and better waters maybe, right? And being like, oh, maybe this will be more fruitful. And this is where you're starting to get your sign that it's like, oh yeah, I actually, this is a good decision for me to make me being Virgo, you being the Virgo rather. I'm not a Virgo. I have some Virgo in my chart though, but I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp. <laughs> so eight of pentacles coming in as well. I like this energy a lot for you as well, Virgo. This is showing to me um, very much so. This is something that this Ace of Cups, this situation is not just coming from just some random opportunity. This isn't by chance. This is showing to me that you've already put in, started putting in the work into this. You've already been in this active place of observing and learning what you can so you can constantly improve and consistently get more results, I'm feeling. So if you are feeling called Virgo this week, you probably actually have been where it's like, you know, let's just use an example of where you do music, Virgo, or where you do 
you you start doing writings, right? You're an, an author. I almost said artist. It could be an artist, darling. All the same thing to me. Um, but you start getting some traction on some stuff that you like posted up, some casual things, some light poetry, and then from there you're just like, oh, I get, I'm getting some traction, huh? Let me be this, uh, let me be this eight of pentacles, darling, and start learning my craft more. Let me see what more I can do and capitalize off this moment more. That's really what it feels like, Virgo, is this week you're capital capitalizing off of something and it feels really good to you. Like, I feel like it's really prosperous for you. Five of Swords coming in here. Um, so definitely this has been like a situation where you were, this is like a definite like trial and error um you approach something at one point maybe you're trying different approaches and it just wasn't working out but like now it feels like you figured out your flow on things right seven of wands in the reverse this is kind of i'm gonna be honest here uh virgo i'm getting this impression here um where it's like you kind of had to like move on from something and i kind of feel like it was in regards to like <sighs> somehow people are involved in this situation Virgo and it's almost like you, once you cleared out some type of toxin in your life something that was weighing heavy on you or just distracting you really with that seven of wands something that your challenges something that was constantly challenging you from not being able to be as productive as you could as you would have liked to be whatever that challenge was I feel like you kind of disconnected from it with this five of swords it feels like you kind of just disengaged and doesn't really feel like anything necessarily official yeah you kind of disengaged nine of wands coming in here where it's like yeah you disengage and you're just like you know what actually like i feel like i'm gonna take this exit over here and spend this quality time by myself i'm gonna i think i'm gonna like bury my head a little bit you know maybe this is probably a week i would be willing to bet virgo you probably have reclused a lot more this week probably can relate heavily to the uh, hermit card this week because I, this is showing to me a dynamic where it's like this is like a time where you're just like, you know what? No more outside distractions. Let me hone in on this gift. Let me hone in on this thing here, right? With that poetry, honing, boom, going with that example rather. You know, you got that traction with that poetry. You're leaning further into it, right? You're dedicating all your energy into this situation, Virgo. So now, Virgo, let's see how this journey progresses for you this week, right? Let's see. We have the Eight of Fire or the Eight of Wands. This card says events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. So yeah, definitely showing to me, Virgo, once you uh, engage into this new energy, right? Once you, I feel like once you like, sh like close the blinds and like, um really t undertake this nine of wands journey um that's really when the fun begins for you with experimentation king of water so it's like really emphasizing this like this week this is going to be like an explosive week for you virgo but explosive in a good way king of water king of cups comes in let me read off the card it says open your heart and mind to those around you trustworthy and heartfelt advice and charity work so this is actually an interesting dynamic virgo because with this, this is kind of showing to me where it's like, yeah, you may be hermiting, right? Because you want to learn more about like poetry or whatever, insert whatever that is for you, right? Ignoring the analogy. I hope it's not too confusing. Um, but it's almost like you should be receptive towards people in your same field um, and get some help from others. This is just all first impressions, right? With clarifiers, this can tell a completely different story. But I'm just getting what I get just off of that first impression, Virgo, where it's just like, you know, you may want to hermit, you know, but don't hermit yourself away. Don't block yourself, make yourself unavailable to energies that actually could be <clears throat> help you along in that eight of pentacles that we were talking about energy. Two of pentacles coming in here. Definitely going to be a very chaotic week with that eight of fire, eight of wands, letting you know that a lot of things coming in and this two of pentacles coming in where it's like it's probably going to be a little bit a, a lot for you to juggle. Um, I do feel like it's almost essential, essential for you, Virgo, to like find, find some reprieve in whatever way that looks like to you. You may not be able to get help from physical people, darling, but find some reprieve if you're able to just disconnect and go out into nature. Something to help you manage with this, this uh, stress that you're gonna be dealing with. And, you know, some somewhere, just make sure, I guess I wanna say, Virgo, is, I hit the camera again, darling. And as I was about to say, make sure you find a way to stay grounded as I just smack the camera, darling. Um, but yeah, find a way to be grounded or finding a way to just like mentally reset, Virgo. 
We have the High Priestess card. Uh, definitely very much so unapproachable energy this week, Virgo. <laughs> Not knocking you, darling, but it's just very interesting the dynamic that you're in. Probably this is seeming... I would be willing to bet, Virgo, this is like your reaction. You have a lot of things that you're managing. Um, some people might confuse this for depression, but I don't even feel like that's it's depression for you. I feel like this is just how you handle things, where it's just like in silence and really just in your own thoughts and managing it. Knight of Cups in the reverse, as well as the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is showing to me, um, pen, uh, obviously, Virgo, do what you want, darling. It's none of my business, and I don't know where, what kind of advice that you're able to get. You know, some of the informant, some of y'all may be in an environment, darling, where the advice or the perspectives of the people around you really want to be helpful for your ultimate goal and trying to figure things out. But um, I do get this sense here, Virgo, that you could be a little bit too rambunctious with your. Um, keeping people at bay energy this week and where you're just like no 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 i got it right this energy right here this is like someone coming over uh virgo you just got home from sh grocery shopping and someone comes out and be like oh let me help you with those groceries and queen of pentacles you virgo you're just like no 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 i got it thank you though right sometimes receiving help isn't always a bad thing virgo uh basically what i would say is just like ooh, my ears just like <laughs> It started ringing, but then it just like feels like it just shifted. Like it, I don't know. You know how like when you pop your ears, Virgo, and it's like you're hearing everything differently. If you, that just happened for me, but like my ears were already popped, so it's like I don't know what happened. <laughs> Weird. Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, I, that's all I'm gonna say about that, Virgo. Is don't be afraid to asking for help. Still. Um, you know, read the room, read, figure, you know, just make sure that you're not just taking everything on by yourself where, you know, learn to delegate. That's something that that's always what makes a good boss is learning how to delegate, uh, Virgo. So let's see how this all works out for you though, darling. King of Earth, King of Pentacles, all your Earth energy, darling. Uh, this is beautiful energy that, that we want to be in for you. This card says a successful time, confidently accepts the opportunities that you're offered, and the Midas touch. So it pays off, Virgo. It shows to me this sense of where, hmm, like, it pays off in the sense of where whatever it is that you've been with that Eight of Pentacles really honing in on. Mm, but I don't know. I feel like the clarifier is going to really go into this a little bit more though. So let's see. Uh, Page of Pentacles coming in here. So this is definitely speaking on like, uh, through this, uh, through you investing in something this week, uh, Virgo, it almost feels like a new energetic channel opens up for you. What do I mean by this? So when I say like a new energetic channel, it's like something new that you sink your teeth into, like a new project, a new person to communicate with, something that's just new. Um, you know, when it's paired with the like King of Pentacles, something that's profitable, whatever that profitable looks like to you. Is it emotional profit? Is it actual financial profit, darling? Is this just like a, you know, profit in terms of elevating? You know, what does that look like to you, Virgo? So Ace of Wands, really honing in on this. This is breaking into this new energy, having, it feels like this week, uh, Virgo, you really identify your flow. You really figure out where it is you sink your teeth into, yeah. Temperance card comes in with the Seven of Pentacles. This is definitely, the only thing I will say with this energy, uh, Virgo is where it's like you're getting all those affirmations with these with that page of pentacles and the ace of wands and that king of pentacles darling but this is one of those things where it might take some time to build up now I don't like giving time frames right um, especially when it comes to general readings I mean all you Virgos are manifesting different things and those things take different times times right to bring into the into the physical reality. But with the Seven of Pentacles here and this Temperance card, it's like plant the seeds, take care of these seeds. It's gonna be profitable, but take care of them, right? It's not gonna be an instant payout where you plant the seeds and the next week you see fruits of your labors, right? It's gonna be profitable, it's gonna be fruitful, right? But as the King of Pentacles, you take note, Virgo is the one that builds up an empire and you don't build an empire overnight. I mean, most of us don't anyways. Maybe some of y'all are out there. If you're able to build an empire overnight, Virgo, Go call me. Hello, what's up? Tell me some of your secrets. What's up? <laughs> so, Virgo, now let's get into your 
romantic and social situations this week, right? Because we have more than, I say more than just, I say social rather, Virgo, more so than just romantic because we have more than just love in our life, right? I mean, obviously we want to love all the social interactions that we have, honey, but um, we have friendships, we have work relationships, family, darling. It's not all just about the lovey-dovey, darling, right? But you know this, Virgo. Let's see what's going on in that space for you. We have the Ten of Water. Okay, Ten of Cups. This is a good energy to be in, Virgo. Uh, contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met in trustworthy relationships. There is definitely a person that you can open up to more, Virgo. Now, I want to see if this is like a new energy that... Because what we were talking about in your general portion, Virgo, I want to see... You know how I was saying, don't be afraid to ask for help? This is the energy. So let's see here with these clarifiers. If this is like energy of someone new or someone that's in your current space but somehow some some even though you're hermiting away it feels like you have a much more greater appreciation for some type of dynamics some type of connection in your life this week virgo something something steps forward something is up for steps up someone steps up to the plate so let's see here virgo we have the knight of swords in the reverse the eight of wands in the reverse as well as the Ten of Pentacles. So this is interesting because this is similar to Taurus's reading in a different dynamic, um, Virgo, where it's showing to me someone who kind of is used to be flaky in your life. Um, good intentions, right? Very good intentions, but it feels like they just never... <laughs> it just feels like they're flaky in some way. Um, but I don't feel like this is like a bad thing. Let's see, one more. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. This is definitely... See, this Okay. This is showing to me, uh, Virgo, someone who's been kind of flaky in your life, probably with this Nine of Pentacles here. They've been just busy, really busy with their own thing, their own hustle, darling, their own storyline, right? But this somehow, I feel like for some people are really warming up this week to you, Virgo. Someone that's kind of like uh, stepping up to the plate. Ten of Pentacles really coming in here of where it's just like someone's like making time to connect with you. It feels this week, Virgo. Um, and again, it's associated with those pentacle energy, all this earth energy that you keep getting. Um, so and this is really showing to me that uh, someone just steps up in the plate in your current life, right? You didn't get any energies, especially with that Ten of Pentacles there. This is deep rooted energy that you've already had invested in your life, right? So you see who's uh, steps up to the plate this week for you, Virgo, that is willing to play a more prominent role in your life. So now, Virgo, let's get into your financial and career this week. Let's see what's going on there. My cat is being so adorable. <laughs> let's see what's going on for your uh, financial and career this week, Virgo. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Earth. So this is, again, talking about those seeds being planted, as I said, uh, Virgo. I actually want to read off this card as well. This card says, seeds well planted, uh, a temporary pause in action, and unnecessary worry. So I want you to go back, Virgo, <laughs> and remember, you don't have to actually, obviously, but like, remember what I was just saying with the Temperance card and that Seven of Pentacles from before, where it's like, it's not going to instantly give you a payout, but it's going to be worth it in the end. So... Let's uh, pull some cards on this, right? I feel like this is one of those things, more so just like a reassurance spread, uh, Virgo, just being like, yeah, you just keep sowing these seeds, keep tending to it, it's going to pay out, right? The moon card is going to catch you off guard. So definitely, if you're not wondering, if you're wondering how this is going to start from something small and blowing up to something that's actually sustainable for you, Virgo, the best thing I can give as an example, because this is just happening to me right now, and y'all know I like to use analogies, and what better way than what's happening now, right? So for me, this is giving such a dynamic where it's just like, you know, I started doing TikToks, right, honey? If you don't follow me on TikTok, it's Simply Welcome. All my social, everything's Simply Welcome, darling. I started doing TikToks, right? I don't really see how, like, I'm getting like 100 views, and you know, nothing really grand on TikTok, but then one TikTok went overnight, literally started taking off, honey, and now it has like 30,000 views, right? And it starts profiting from there, right? I started, you know, the, getting more subscribers, more followers in that format, right? Um, so this is that same dynamic, if I, is what I'm trying to say, where it's just like, you, you know, may, I didn't see any type of potential in TikTok, darling, until just randomly I get picked up, right? And I feel like it's going to be the same for you. So we have the Three of Pentacles stepping forward for you, as well as the Three of Swords with the 
Queen of Wands. So this is going to be your biggest struggle, uh, Virgo, is to maintain that flame in yourself, maintaining the motivation to continue on with tending with those seven of pentacles energies, those seeds, the things that you've been, your crops, right, when it comes to your finances. So this is definitely going to be a week, Virgo, where you just got to keep on reassuring yourself. Think about the big picture, what it is that you're trying to create as a whole. Remember that you're the king of pentacles, darling, right? And a king of pentacles is building up an empire and you don't build that empire overnight it takes a lot of work right but uh you already know that virgo but that's the reading that i have for you this week virgo i hope you found some tarot cards that resonated with you if you did let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe if you would like to book a personal private reading with me virgo my website is just simply uh be sure to remember to join my discord as well for and get get into the giveaway that ends this week um if you would like to connect with me connect with me on any of my social medias darling it's just simply velka so um for facebook twitter instagram everything darling if you have a friend that's into tarot as well virgo send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them till next time though darling i love you so much virgo